What up YouTube, it's Boy New Sidebot, and this is a remake of my gaming setup. Got a couple of requests from people for me to redo it and update my gaming setup. People that make their own gaming setups want to see an update of mine. So I'm about to go ahead and do one right now. Um, not much change, do got a couple of new things, but first I'm going to start off with the room. This is my little office right here. This is actually my room, but this is, I got like a little corner for my uh, office, you know, as you see. Very organized, you know, I'm an organized dude, you know. But um, we're going to start off with the screen right now for that I use for uh, gaming on my gaming PC. 22-inch Samsung screen. Um, it's a nice screen. It's hard to find this TV screen, first of all. Um, there's not much reviews on it. If you look it up on YouTube, the only review you're going to run into is mine. Because I'm the only one that got a review on uh, YouTube. I don't know why. Um, here's the remote to it. Pretty nice TV. It's the best screen I ever had that has some super deep blacks and brilliant color at the same time and some great whites. It's hard to find a screen that delivers all three of those at the same time and accurate color. So, you know, yeah. Um, we got the Canon printer right here. Printer scanner, you know, very nice, very nice. You know, this bad boy is kick ass. You know, gets the job done. And, you know, since it's an office, they got had the receipt books and stuff like that. You know, I'm just saying. Right here we got the backlit uh, Death Adder mouse with the keyboard, same brand, need to be cleaned. You know, nice little backlit keyboard and stuff like that. So yeah, um, as far as the gaming PCs, same things. I mean, it's still same old setup. Uh, two Radeon 5770s cross-fired together. Um, got the terabyte hard drive with um, four gigs of RAM. I got uh, the, uh, the Black Widow power supply, 850 watt Intel 2 quad core processor. And as far as my motherboard, I got boxes to all my electronics. So there's the motherboard right here. Got the Intel Stream Series DP45SG. You know, it's good for your first gaming setup PC or whatever. But uh, the new motherboard I'm getting is that military green one by ASUS, I think. I think I'm correct. It's a military green one. You guys know what I'm talking about. And it supports the higher RAM, the uh, the, the 1666, I think it is. And it got two uh, USB 3.0 uh, slots up on it. That bad boy is only 199 And you may be thinking, damn, 200 bucks, that's a lot. Not for that damn motherboard. It got all the updated stuff. You don't have to even change out your motherboard no more. It holds up to, uh, I think, 12 gigs of RAM. Um, man. Uh, here's my chair right here. It pills, you know, it got like a little couple of pillings up on it, but it's a good chair. It was given to me, you know, by this guy that works in the house to do a lot of maintenance. You know, you got from uh, someone didn't have nothing to do with it. It's a real good chair. This chair is comfortable. Uh, the only thing, like I said, only pit, it'd be pilling. But other than that, it's real sturdy. Everything works good. Okay, that's enough of this. Swing you up over here. I know my last gaming setup, I showed you guys my glasses, my cologne, my watches, and stuff. I'm not going to do all that. I'll show you the gaming stuff. Got the Peace Walker PSP right here, nice and green. Got the uh, plastic case up on it. You know, I like my stuff. I keep all my stuff protected and nice. You know, whenever I sell electronic to somebody, it always looks brand new. You know, they can't believe that I had it for like a year or something. Um, got the 3DS with the handheld grip up on there. With this grip up on there, you have better control, especially if you have big hands like me. And um, yeah, you hardly ever touch the 3DS when you have this grip up on there. So. It stays fingerprint free. I uh, got some of uh, my PSP games right here. You know, I got Little Big Planet, Metal Gear, Twisted Metal Head On, and Armor Core Formula Front, which I got the case right here. Two of my favorite handheld horror games of all time Dementium 1 and Dementium 2, or 1 and 2. You know, these are some good games for the DS. The best horror games out there on handhelds so far that I played. So, yeah, take you guys to my living room. Okay, as you can see, keep it nice and clean. You know, I'm a clean dude. I don't do, I don't do dirtiness. You know, it stays clean. I might have some messy stuff here and there, like a shirt here or there, or some boxes hanging on a shelf. I mean, hanging on a light pole or something. But, you know, but check it out. <laughs> uh, this is like my little gaming uh, table for, like, you know, board games. Got the Monopoly down there, a little digital Monopoly, you know, with the little credit cards and stuff. Got the little, um, this little game right here that I just can't really be beat, beat in. For every loss I have inside this game, I got like 15 wins. You know, I can't be touched with, touched inside this game. That game is backgammon. Not that many people play this game. I've got this game on Yahoo. You know, I play this on Yahoo. Be playing like five games at once, winning all, all five of them. I might lose one. Um, be playing this on Xbox Live. 
and play it in person. It's better to play it like in real life. If they have this at, the, at any casino and people want to put their money up and bet against your boy, because I don't, I, don't, I don't gamble. But this is one game I would gamble in, because I would beat your ass. Okay? This is also another board game right here, which is actually mine that I'm working on getting published by Hasbro and another game that I have made. I don't, got, I don't got out right now. You know, my signature is right there. Got the written up directions and typed up directions. You know, it's like a monster slaying game, board game or whatever. Very fun. Played it twice already. It's very long as well. Like six or seven different game modes. Um, let you guys, let me see if I want to give you guys a peek real fast. I want to give you guys a peek. Oh, nope. You got to wait for my video when I show that bad boy off. But I'm very late on that video though. Because every time I make it, I don't like it. So I end up not even doing it that day. Over here, we got the gaming case, you know. A lot of you guys already seen this already. But for the newcomers of my videos, you know. What I do is I use a Blu-ray case. This is a Blu-ray case for the record. And I take the sleeve out of my game plastic things, slide them in, and put the games on the other side. So, it's pretty cool. So, instead of me having a whole bunch of cases, you know, bam. And when you own over 200 games, then it's good to have cases. For the ones I don't got the art to, I got them right here. You know, so I'll flip them. I'm going to flip through like, whole, like five at a time, five rows at a time, you know, just to give you guys an idea of what I'm working with, Xbox games and Xbox 360 games, then we get to the PS2 games, as you can see I'm a Metal Gear junkie, I mean not Metal Gear, but uh, yeah I am, but uh, Armor Core junkie as well, you know, even got the very first one, MM, my nickname was Marty Mar, yeah everybody used to be calling me Marty Mar and stuff, that was a long ass time ago, that's how long I had that game, got all the Fatal Frame games, I always try to get the rarest PS2 games ever, you know, got both the God of Wars and God of War collection, you know, got to have a uh, Kingdom Hearts. I got one and two back here, you know, like I said, I got to have all the rare guys, the Oni Onimusha, where's this at, man, put this on the next gen console on the PS3, or the current gen console, shall I say, Onimusha, you know, anyway, that's enough of all that, okay, take it over here to my phone, I love this bad boy right here, Samsung Fastening Galaxy S, I got this free through Verizon, all I had to do was pay the sales tax, love this phone, um, super fast and zippy you know loads up my email super quick even lo loads up full web pages you now some phones have you can have the mobile version of a web page or the actual web page I go to the actual web page all the time this bad boy is quick when my contract is up I don't want to even upgrade it because it's, I mean I don't want a new phone that phone is like it's, I'm scared to move to a new phone but that phone is zippy is good um, got my tripod right there as you can see you know that's why I have it at when I record stuff I'm soon to get a, a capture card when I upgrade my PC and stuff like that but as of right now I'll be recording with my uh, Canon camera and it still comes out super clear as if I got a capture card um, speaking of the screen that's a, a 46 inch Sony Bravia 3D TV screen pretty good had it for like almost a, about a year that for you already never had it for a year um, pretty good um, I had I, I don't own like over 12 HD TV so far in this bad boy I might end up keep this a keeper right here. I mean, I think I found the one for me. And yeah, that's my baby right here. As you can see, on all my HD TVs, I always keep the plastic around the bezel. I never take it off when I move, though. I'm planning on taking it off when I move, but yeah. I um, got the 360, got the PS3, the PS2. You know, I still play my PS2. Let's see what game is inside there real fast. Was that Fatal Frame 3? See, when I be talking about some of these games and some of my updates, I be actually playing the games. I don't just be talking about them. I actually have the games and be playing them. You know, I got the 360 and the chat pad. People be wondering why I be typing stuff a million miles per hour. That's why this chat pad right here, you know, super, you know, be bam, 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 bam. Type shit, you're super quick. You know, because my black on black 360 controller, I'm about to order some uh, all black buttons right here. So it's going to be all black, just completely black. Got the Isaac Clark. Little gun. Low in the dark lighter. Too bad it don't really light, but it still sparks. Game was okay. Kind of a disappointment. And then, oh yeah, that's another thing some people be asking me about inside my uh, gaming setup or when they see my uh, videos. They be asking, like, is this, is this a Star Wars uh, thing? This is actually a Transformer. A original Transformer toy. I'm going to show you that inside a different video. But yeah, it's a Transformer. Yeah, I know it don't look like it, but it is. Um... That's the whole point. <laughs> got the Philips Surround Sound 1000 Watt. Got the uh, Cox HD box. Um, got the Metal Gear games and the boxes. The games are inside here. If you haven't seen my game count video, watch that. I'm not counting all my games. 
you know, it's my little gaming shelf where I just keep the collections of my stuff. Here's one of my pair of my 3D glasses right there, screen cleaner, uh, my scenic controllers. Uh, so you gotta stay fresh. See that? Nice and fresh. Every 30 minutes, shoot something out. Or you can change it to 15 minutes. Now keep a fresh house. It's all my Comic Con badges and all that stuff, and front of the front of the line passes from Universal Studios, Hollywood. Um, here's all my little Zelda stuff. I'm a big Zelda fan. You know, I've been a Zelda fan ever since I was younger. Got a Zelda poster right there. Zelda Game Informer, which I'm gonna get laminated. You know. And this is not even all the games. I got some games inside the uh, DS itself. Got the little Zelda edition hardcover book. Got the, you know. Okay, got the uh, Gears of War stuff right here. You guys already seen all this stuff. Still got the hardcover book still wrapped up inside the plastic. Um, got my other controllers right here. My Move controllers, Chat Pad, PS3 controllers, 360 controllers, all my Game Informers, official Xbox magazine, and and all kind of other gaming magazines and stuff like that down there. And got all my Blu-ray movies and stuff that I haven't opened up yet, you know, which I will not open up and stuff. So, also, be looking out for my collections video. People still be asking for those videos, surprisingly. I really don't really care for those videos. I had I was decided to stop making them until people kept on saying, man, you need to make some more um, collections videos. So my next collections video is going to be showing off all my movies. This the collection of my all my movies. I want to know how many movies I got too because I haven't looked at my movie collection in a while. So that was my little gaming setup. Got the little nice couch. These couches are humongous. You know, it don't look like it inside my videos and stuff. And y'all be seeing these couches, but they are very big and very heavy. Never seen no couches like these. I I had them for a very long time. Ever since I first been living here, it was for like five, four years already. And um, the main thing I like about these chrome arms. That's crazy. Like when I seen these, this lady sold them to me for uh, I think 190 bucks for both of these couches all together. 190 bucks. Oh, like wow! I got it off a of Craigslist or whatever. And I seen these bad boys. I seen the pictures of them, and she told 190. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on my way. You know. And then man, but that was heavy though. We took, we got a man. Took a long time getting them up, up inside here. I take, the, I had to take the arms off. The arms are heavy too. So. I love these couches, dude. But uh, they came with the pillows too. So, and also I got my curtains up. Usually I had these curtains down or whatever. Got like a little burgundy-ish, little see-through fabric. So when the sun hit off of it, like it brings like a burgundy-ish light inside here. So you can kick back, lay back on the couch, turn the TV around on the little turn stand, and watch TV. You know, lay back, just be relaxing. I don't watch TV like that though. But when I miss watching TV, that's when I do. The only time I watch TV is at night when I'm watching educational stuff. I'm very education, education, <laughs> educational person. So, anyways, with that said, it's been your boy New Side by. Oh yeah, the Isaac Clark Death Space poster back there that can't nobody, don't nobody got. Even the, even when the biggest fans I ran into on YouTube don't even got that. Be asking me where I get it. Anyways, it's been your boy New Side by. Oh yeah, one more thing. Got the surge protector. You gotta have that. And I'm out of here. Peace.